This is Curry. She's very busy. Curry, technically genderless, but I'll use female pronouns, is made by Mayfield Robotics, and she's making her debut at CES 2017. We're focused on figuring out how home robots are going to evolve and become part of everyday life for a lot of people. She's being marketed as a home robot, a kind of robotic sidekick that can help out around the house, but not like a vacuum cleaner. Part entertainment, some of that companionship, some of the fun, the music, and, and part utility, like checking in when you're not home and making sure everything's okay. He knows what the layout of your house is. He knows where he is. He also can do things like look at a face and recognize it. She can be an alarm, like remind you to take something out of the oven, or um, also play a podcast when you're getting ready for work. And she can also um, read audiobooks to your kid and kind of help put them to sleep. But according to her designers, the most important part of her has nothing to do with what she can do, what kind of utility she can be for you. The most important thing is how you connect to her. You have a lot of things in your house that are purely useful functions. Your toaster, your doorbell, stuff like that. You don't love them. So the first thing was to make this mechanical face. Because a robot is alive, we really had to listen carefully to people. When they thought of bringing a robot into their home, they didn't think of it like buying an appliance. They thought of it a little more like adopting a creature. Do we feel a need for these, for appliances to be embodied like humans and to demonstrate human emotions because of this fundamental moral character of our, of our species? Maybe. Um, we certainly have a, we do a really good job anthropomorphizing things. That's Catherine Hume. She works at Fast Forward Labs, a New York City startup which helps organizations accelerate their machine learning capabilities. She's interested in Curry's prospects. There is a surprising adaptability that people of all ages have to engage with these conversational interfaces. The fact that that's working as well as it is makes me a little bit more open to the possibility of, you know, of, of the robots actually having a market than I normally would be. He responds to touch. I love you and he will say I love you back. I don't think it's a bad thing for there to have been a, a, an emotional connection generated between a human and a robot. It's strange and kooky, but it's also a means for us to investigate our own humanity. The folks at Mayfield are absolutely counting on that connection. We designed the robot with a couple ideas in mind. The first is that when something moves, it just imbues personality. We hope that the personality that we're imbuing Curry with will help increase that emotional connection a great deal. You'll answer simple questions with yes and no's. If you didn't get that emotional acceptance, all the utility stuff doesn't matter because no one will ever buy the robot or turn it on. Where I think the real risk lies is, is in narcissism. We need to learn how to productively engage with people who are different from who we are. And I think that robotics stills that growth because it's not actually another embodied human consciousness. But what about the future? Are we all gonna be followed around by a robot sidekick in five years? Curry's a character that kind of sets expectations for the point where robot technology is. Technology evolves exponentially. It does not evolve linearly. Um, in particular, some of this new AI technology which means uh, the future might come faster than we think it will. We're sort of sitting here on the precipice of a huge number of helper technologies all coming together. Things like machine learning, artificial intelligence in general, natural language processing and interaction. All of those things come together to make this magic trick happen that will, when you actually see it for the first time, It'll seem kind of mundane because it'll seem so natural and normal. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.